Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Today, I want to talk about the new baseball rules in Major League Baseball coming in the 2023 season. Uh, I got the um, rules out of the uh, current Baseball Digest, which I subscribe to. And uh, they had a panel of experts uh, talk about the three rules. First of all, they described the three rule changes. And then they had uh, a panel of experts from different uh, facets of baseball uh, talk about the rules and how they liked the rules and or didn't like the rules. Uh, their panel was uh, Bob Costas. Love Bob Costas. Um, Ned Coletti, former Major League General Manager. Jim Evans, former Major League Baseball umpire. Bill Madden, who is a Major League Baseball writer. Joe Madden, who is the former manager of the Chicago Cubs and Anaheim Angels. And Todd Zeal, former uh, baseball player. So they discussed the uh, rules and their... Um, their reaction to the rules and how they liked them or not. I'm not going to get into too much about how what they thought about it, what each of them thought, because in general, for the most part, pretty much all of them were, to some degree, they liked the rules, the rule changes. Um, but I'm going to give you my reaction to them. But first, let's discuss them, all right? Uh, the first rule is the pitch timer. The pitch timer is coming. Uh, 15 seconds between pitches when no one is on base and uh, 20 seconds between pitches when there are runners on base. And uh, the pitcher is allowed to step off twice during any given at bat. And when he steps off and then steps back on, that resets the timer. Um, uh, this was tried in the minor leagues. I saw a game between the Charlotte Knights and the um, Syracuse. I, I don't know what they're called now, but I, but the Syracuse team. The, uh, they used to be the Syracuse Chiefs when I was a kid. Um, but anyway, uh, I saw a game between the Syracuse team and the Charlotte Knights. <coughs> the Charlotte Knights, of course, being the minor league club of the Chicago White Sox. And uh, the game actually did move along. It move al moved along at a, at a crisp pace. Uh, I think there were a couple of Syracuse pitchers that, um, you know, violated the rules. Not sure what the violation is. Like, I guess if nobody's on base, it's a ball, maybe. Um, uh, and maybe that's the rule, you know, whatever. Maybe that's the penalty, uh, whatever, if it is. Let's see. I don't know. But anyway, uh, there's going to be some kind of penalty. I think it's probably a ball. I would guess it has to be a ball. Because if you violate it with nobody on, they can't really call a balk. Because <coughs> a balk wouldn't do anything. Um, so anyway. Um, and the batter has to be in the box and responsive and ready to uh, hit with nine seconds. I think nine seconds left on the clock. So, you know, it's incumbent on the batters to help with this process. Like I said, it did seem to move the game along. It moved along at a, at a much crisper pace than most major league games. Um, this rule, I'm kind of, yeah, you know, I'm kind of wishy-washy on it. The one thing I do like, and I hate rules, and we'll get into that. I hate rules that fundamentally change baseball as we know it. So a pitch timer doesn't really fundamentally change the game. Nobody's being forced to pull anybody from the game. Um, nothing like that. It's just a mechanism to quicken the pace of the pitcher. I still, in general, though, don't like anything. Well, first of all, it's a clock. And baseball has always prided itself on not having a clock. 
So from that aspect, it's kind of, a, you know, a, 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 something I would generally like to see them do without. Um, now, the pace of the game was quicker when I was a kid because it was just quicker. The pitchers just pitched quicker. And they've just, it's over the decades that has slowed down. Pitchers are not as good about doing it. Of course, they will do this in the, in the uh, spring training so the pitchers can get used to it. But, um, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of on the fence with it. I, I, in general, I don't like to see baseball do these things that force different changes to the game, but at least you're not changing the game of baseball. The next change I want to discuss, and the one that I really have no problem with at all, is increasing the size of the bases. The bases will go from 15 inches to 18 inches. And yet, get your mind out of the gutter. We're not talking about that. But anyway, 15 inches to 18 inches. The idea behind it is to increase player safety. Um, the players won't, um, you know, like especially at first base, the runner's coming down the line. He's running across the bag. The first baseman has his foot on the bag. You're, you know, over the years, you've seen collisions. You've seen players step on the first baseman's uh, uh, foot. <coughs> so this is supposed to uh, decrease the probability of that happening. I have really no problem with that. Again, it doesn't really fundamentally change the game. I mean, I guess the batter could potentially get to first base or the next base a little quicker because the base is three inches larger. But in general, I don't really have a problem with it. It doesn't fundamentally change the game. Um, now, the one that I do have a problem with is the defensive shift will go away. The defensive shift as we know it will go away. Um, you are required starting in 2023 to have two infielders on each side of second base and the outfielders need to play the outfield. Uh, the infielders also need to be that have to have at least one foot on the um, outfield edge of the infield. So they can't totally be um, off the dirt of the infield and, you know, and, totally in the outfield at all even you know a half a foot behind the infield and like i said two um infielders on either side of second base now a lot of players complained about this they said you know a lot of players that are pull hit left hand especially left-handed pull hitters complained that they were hitting the ball right into the teeth of the defense I mean, my thing is the players could have solved this problem. The players could have gotten rid of the shift themselves by simply just going the other way. <coughs> there were times when there wasn't even any infielders on the third base side of the infield. None. There was no shortstop, no third baseman. I could have gotten a base hit in that situation just bunting the ball down the third base line. And that's all the players had to do in that situation. Now, it would have been trickier at times because it's, it's sometimes they would leave a shortstop over there. So that's a little trickier. You still have to place the ball kind of right. But still, all you have to do is like a little butcher boy the other way or a bunt. They could have solved this. They could have gotten rid of the, the shift. Because as soon as you show that you're willing to bunt the ball down the third base line, or if you're a right-handed batter down the first base line. Um, and even then, really, the first baseman was always there, so that would be more difficult. But still, as long as you showed that you were uh, willing to bunt or, or butcher boy the ball to the opposite side, the team would stop doing it to you because they don't want you getting a base hit. So the players could have solved the problem themselves, in my opinion, and, and done away with it themselves. Uh, so I don't like Major League Baseball. And another thing that what this does is 
it tells a manager how to manage the game. And I don't like that at all. I don't like it. I, I, the same way that I don't like the three batter minimum for a pitcher that you bring into the game. Again, you're telling the manager how to manage the game and that's wrong. That shouldn't happen. That there's no rule in baseball that should tell the manager how to manage his team. And this shift, this rule against the shift does that just like the three pitcher minimum does, which I also don't like. So those are the three rules. I just wanted to do a little quick video, discuss the rules, get your uh, thoughts on it. What do you think? Which rule, which of these three rules do you, th um, if any, do you think are good? Um, which of the three rules, if any, do you think are terrible? As I think that getting rid of the shift is terrible. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't like the this type of baseball that the shift um you know, that the shift encourages. But, as I said, the players could have gotten and could get rid of it themselves if they wanted to. They just, for whatever reason, they didn't want to. You know, uh, Joey Gallo is a, is a perfect example. The guy hits 110 every year. Now, he could raise his average to probably 250. If he had bunted the ball to the opposite side down the third base line every time they did that to him, which they did every time, he could have had a respectable batting average, but he chose not to. He kept trying to hit home runs, and what happened when the ball didn't go over the wall was it went into somebody's glove because there was 50 guys over there waiting for the ball. So anyway, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you like this content because I've got a lot more like it coming down the pike. I've got NFL picks. I do uh, Stratomatic and uh, game replays of football and baseball. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.